Hello and welcome back to Authors Training and Support. This is Module 2 and in this module we are going to discuss about manuscript preparation. So let's start it. Before starting, a very important question arises in our mind that how to prepare a manuscript or what should an ideal manuscript have? So it holds a very simple answer. It is a very important parameter for an author that should be taken as a very serious concern. And it involves several essential steps to ensure that the research work is effectively communicated and it meets the standards of the target journal. Apart from this, it includes title and abstract, introduction, literature review, preparation of tables, preparation of figures, cover letter, keyword as well. Remember that manuscript preparation process is time taking and can take multiple revisions. So this requires a lot of patience and you should as an author, you should always stay open to feedback after submissions as well. Now, the very first thing that should be included in the manuscript is cover letter. So, cover letter must be provided with each manuscript while submitting. And it should be very concise and contain why the content of the paper is significant and is holding any importance uh, in and holding any place in the journal. It should explain how the manuscript is suitable for the scope of the journal. As you can see in the picture, we have attached an original photograph of the cover letter, which we have received for any of our journal from one author. So this includes the title of the manuscript, author name, then uh, it is including the journal name as well. And cover letter is always uh, written to the journal handler or managing editor or else to the editor in chief of the journal. The next thing that is very important and plays an important role again in the manuscript is title page. So title page also should be very concise and should include the running title of the paper and the main title of the paper. The title of the manuscript should be concise again, relevant, informative and should contain major keywords, formulas, etc. And it should be provided with proper contact details of authors and proper address details as well of the authors. As here you can see in the picture, this is the title page. In, uh, in the title page, the author have included manuscript title, the article type, running title, then author details, their name, designation, department, country, pin code, phone number, and email ID. So in the same manner, all the authors affiliations and addresses should be provided in the title page. Keyword preparation and article formatting. These two are very important parameters again as keywords must be added to the paper and we recommend that the keyword should be specific from the journal and from the subject discipline. Keywords are used for indexing purposes so abbreviations established in the field may be eligible and generally we ask for three to seven keywords in the paper. If we'll talk about the article formatting before submission, you should always check the journal's guidelines and the author guidelines. So uh, we are asking for the articles in Word file and page margin should be one from all four sides. Page number also should be included along with the editable tables and figures. Now, uh, on the basis of different different articles, what are the basic requirement of paper while preparing a manuscript? If we'll talk about the original research article, so it is a credible source of knowledge and a set of research experiment and investigations. It should represent new findings in the paper and outputs on a topic and should have proper conclusion as it is a valuable resource for academicians and scientific community. If I'm talking about the headings of the research paper, it should include introduction, material and methods, results, discussion and conclusion of the paper. Now, if I'm talking about the main, the very important thing that a research article should have a structured abstract. Structured, structured abstract means the abstract also should be divided into subparts. Now, if I'm talking about the review article, it is expected that review articles are written by individuals who have done substantial work on the subject and are considered expert in the field. A review article should address a specific topic, issue or question and it must represent a cohesive and up-to-date representation of the subject. Then it is expected that review articles are written by individuals who have done substantial work in the 
expert field and it should address a focus topic, question, issue, etc. And it should include the heading, abstract, keyword, introduction, discussion, conclusion and references. The next type of article is case series or case report. So, always new cases should be presented in case series and case reports. And it should be interesting as well. Then, they should be unique, describe a great diagnostic or therapeutic challenge and provide a learning point for readers. Cases with clinical significances or implications will be given priority. And case reports do not require extensive patient details and should be submitted as correspondence. And real name of the patients should not be revealed. And also, we should, uh, as an author, it is our important duty to hide the identity of the patient if we are attaching photographs in the paper. The next type of article is letter to editor. Letter to editor should be focused on a new or uh, any recent topic that is published in a journal within the previous year. The letter should focus on an important aspects of the paper and it also include the author's opin opinion and its comments. Editorial involves the option of author and are written by the members of publication editorial teams or invited experts to express the publication's official stance on a particular issue or topic. Now, the last type of article which we published at IP Innovative Short Communication or Commentary or others. So, these are small and focused articles that present significant and novel findings in a brief format. Unlike full-length papers, short communications are typically limited in length of paper and they contain critical information that contributes to scientific literature. So, basically, other categories of the articles include mini-review, opinion article, commentary, perspective articles, etc. Now, the preparation of figures, tables and artwork is very, very important while preparing a paper. Figures and tables should always be given in editable format. So, it will be easy for the copy editors or for the proofreaders to check or to set the paper in a uh, proper format. And it can be attached in separate file for more convenience. Clear and high resolution pixels are very important. So as an author, it is your primary responsibility to add clear pictures and the resolution of the picture should be 300 dpi dots per inch. And standard formats are exported, accepted and preferred as JPG or PDF or EPS, etc. All figures and tables and artworks should have a short explanatory title and caption and all table columns should have an explanatory headings as well. Proper legion should be provided with each table and with each figure that is presented in the paper. If we'll talk about referencing style and formatting, this is another very important parameter of the paper. And it should be checked from journal's author instruction page as it varies from journal to journal. Some journals ask for APA styling, some ask for Vancouver. We at IPO Innovative ask for Vancouver style format and it should be cited numerically. If I'm talking about Vancouver style format, first name initial of the author is coming, then the last name, then if more than six authors are there in the reference, then it all should be used. Then article title, title of the journal with a standard abbreviation, year of publication, volume, issue number in bracket and page numbers. More recent references should be used to make the research more authentic and reliable. So that's all uh, was there in the manuscript preparation module. Thank you for being a part of this session and stay tuned for up upcoming videos. And for more details, you can visit our website www.ipinnovative.com slash guidelines slash author or www.mprp.in. Thank you.